What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World, and EA Sports is back at it again, and this time it's a little bit more ferocious than I've seen in a very long time. I want you guys to go ahead and like the video if you feel that EA Sports is trying to make you open your wallet every single promo. Just in case you're not clicking the like button, it's probably someone that is ready to open their wallet regardless and you don't really care, but it never used to be so money driven. And what we're gonna talk about today is this, right? The new Fred, um, the Fred Warner that was just released, okay? We're gonna talk about that card, we're gonna talk about, you know, Alvin Kamara, stuff like that, but I wanna start off with just making you guys realize there's always different ways to either not spend as much money or to spend no money. And we're gonna talk about that right now because many of you guys have been asking about certain things and details and how I go about building my Madden Ultimate Team. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you guys what happens inside the store. And this is something that people really believe with the way that they do these bundles that you actually have a chance of getting that 92 overall player of the month, like outright, which is the first time that we're seeing this actually uh, with the Fred Warner and the uh, Alvin Kamara. Usually they just did a team of the week and then at the end you got a team of the year promo. Now they're just adding stuff and doing a lot of weird things with it, making it more complex, usually the way that they do it, right? So if you were somebody that has no issue spending the money, you would easily go and do this, right? You just like, you know what? I'm gonna spend the money. If I don't get it, I'll put it towards getting the actual card that I want. But if you take a close look at what EA is doing, they're not really giving you a lot of opportunity to get what you're going to need because the 84 plus week seven or 90 overall champ, more than likely, you're gonna be getting 84s. You're not gonna get the 92 in most cases, and then the 484s don't really do much, the 84 pluses, because it's all silent. So this is something that is very important that I make sure that you guys understand. Number one, okay, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys what's going on within the actual catalog and the price ranges of Fred Warner at the time of this video, which is just at the launch, okay? So you're gonna see that his price is very high. A lot of you guys are like, yo, I'm a Niner theme team. How do I go about doing this? What am I supposed to do? This price is crazy. Well, he was upwards of 3 million coins. I'm going to tell you this though. He's actually a really good card. I'm using his AKA and he still balls. So I already know with a theme team and him being 92 speed, his card is gonna be around until I would say December. So depending on how you go about this, if you listen to what I'm gonna to explain to you guys to do and just follow the routine, you'll be okay. If you do not and you spend the money now, more than likely what's gonna happen is his price is gonna come down after they drop the Isaiah Simmons, which is gonna be a free card for the MCS, and then you're just gonna be out the amount of millions, whatever it is, all right? So let's get right to it. One of the things that is very interesting about the way that they did this uh, you know, player of the month thing is that they made it set cards, okay? So what do we know about set cards with EA Sports and, and how they do it? What they do is they make it so that it's unrealistic with the amount of cards that are needed to complete the set so that it's almost impossible for you to make a profit unless you already have the cards pre-built or you buy a bundle, right? So in this case right here, we're gonna look at the set for Fred Warner. We're gonna see you need 490 overalls, okay? And then four, you know, any 90 overall, then you need four any 90 overall team of the week player. Now, this is what a lot of my mutt gurus already know. You can stack these players over time and eventually within a week or so, get him for very, very dirt cheap. A lot of you guys already know how we're gonna go about doing it. Some of you guys don't really understand, so I'm gonna explain. With the way that this works, right? Every week that they drop, a new player or whatever when they start dropping the team of the week keep in mind they just brought back the limiteds by the way so the limiteds are now available it was like a washington player uh dante fowler so the limiteds are back russell wilson is back there and stuff like that so the limiteds are back they did a couple weeks without it people complained they brought him back so just to kind of give you guys insight into that there are reasons now to continue to purchase bundles for the chance of the limited because obviously you can't get a limited inside of the set all right so now let's go back to the set right we know exactly what we need to do. We need four 90s, any 90, and four of the 90 overalls for any you know team of the week player. So because of the fact that they just started off all of this stuff, like, you know, I think last week was the first week of the 90s or something, because they went from 88 to 90, you can start to either snipe 90s or pre-build them because they're not going to alter this set. So you don't have to be in a rush to get the card. Granted, if I wanted to get him, I can sell a few things and get him. He's like 2.5. He's probably gonna be around 2 million when he levels out for a little bit. 
But if I wanted to take my time doing it, I can go that route of creating the 90 overall players. Now, there are several ways to do it. You can just go basically to the set that's there, you know, whatever, you know, make a Joey Burrow, whatever, um, you know, for any 87s and one 87 overall, which would mean you could just make the 87s within this actual set and then, you know, pretty much go through sniping 87s, 88s, which you can randomly get by just stalking the auction house. Okay, but that's another coin making method that you guys would have to be patient with and understand the concepts with it. And it's a lot of patience involved with the auction house and sniping. And I don't use the companion app because they like to ban you for it. So I don't really get involved with that. Okay, so one way would be, you know, to kind of like take your time doing the 90s. Down here as we go through, okay, this is a situation, right? You can start to make the other players, the 87s with the hero fantasy pack. So you see how they showed you those 84s in the bundle? And I told you that most likely you will only get 84s. This would be sort of the kind of way that you use them, okay? This would be the way that you would do it, all right? You would go through it, you would get those cards, and you would put together these sets to make this version of the 87 so you can have five of those 87s or four. Uh, yeah, four 87s because you're gonna need them to make the 90s because you need one of each one, right? So as you would go through it, this last one right here, you would need four of them because you're trying to make four of the 90s, you know, the 90 overalls. So you would complete that other set four times. As you go through it, right, and then you obviously make the 90s, making the 90s for the team of the week is gonna be the more expensive part. So that would be the route that you take. Another thing about the tokens, this 80 plus uh, team of the week token player pack, these players are auctionable. If you guys remember, there was just a bug where they were giving out like literally $100 bundles uh, inside of the legend thing. Uh, and they took the uh, 80 plus legend down when it was a major bug. Would that happen again? Highly likely that it will, but it's not necessarily true that it's gonna happen right now. But these are things that people are gonna be experimenting with throughout the year. So if you are a part of my Discord, you will know as soon as it starts and you will be all over it, okay? Um, but these are just this is just another way to use your tokens if you wanted to. Again, I would continue to save mine, but if you are desperate and looking to get whatever you can get, just keep in mind, the plus is silent when it comes to 80 plus, okay? Another thing that I want to point out, because I look, all these are the token stuff, wherever you see BND, please do not use your tokens. Just don't do it. Anything else that you want to kind of dabble with, starting from the bottom and coming all the way through and getting up to the 87, you can, like I said, you could take your time with it, but you would need four of them, right? So that you can complete the four, any not, you know, any 90 overall team of the week, and then you would make the any 90 overall, you know, elite 90 overall. Now, one of the things that was brought to my attention, right? is that it's very difficult to get 90 overalls because they don't give you the opportunity with the core set to do it. Now, the core set usually by this time is up to like 87, 88. For whatever reason, right, they have not done anything with it. The highest you can get right now is an 82 to 83. So this is very outdated right now. So it makes it a lot more complex to go this route of not using your money and spending and opening your wallet. But with the other promos, you can create 90s, including the most feared, okay? So it's not like it's something that you can't do, it's just you have to go another route about doing it. So you would have to go this route and utilize the tokens, uh, if you wanted to in this set, um, utilize some of the other ways to put together the cards, and you could make 90s this way. In the most feared section, it, you would require 87 overall most feared players to do it and then you would need to any 87 88 so what they did is they took away some of the most valuable assets that we've had in the game in being able to control the cards we can make and made it more difficult and we have to now use programs to make those players ourselves so if you are patient you will be able to do it with the way that i'm showing you if you're not patient again you can always open your wallet all right the NE87s, obviously, you can use this set for the game time if you want to see what goes into it. Uh, 38485 and 284 game time heroes, stuff like that. This is this is all that they've done because I've literally created so many Mutt Millionaires and every year they've gotten a little bit more greedy about how they've done it. Uh, this year it's a little bit more extensive uh, to make it so that now you have to use the specific programs to get these things. So, uh, like I said, Season of Boom stops at a lower overall, so you can't really do nothing with that. 
um, you know, a lot of the other stuff that they have with the AKAs, you can dabble with that if you want, but they've made everything like team specific, the breakouts, stuff like that, that stops at 88. So it's very difficult to make the players that you're going to need, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it. You just have to take your time putting them together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my time putting together my cards. I'm gonna put together my sets. I have a ton of cards. Uh, as far as items go, I have a tremendous amount of items, 682. I'm gonna start building up my cards and taking my time to do it and start sniping 90s and looking to go that route. I am not going to engage with just outright purchasing a bundle for $100 with only the guarantee for EA to be at my house and take me from the back. I'm not gonna do that. If you wanna go through the steps with me, I'm live every day on Twitch, X, TikTok, uh, Kick, and YouTube. You can go through the process with me and we will go ahead and get Fred Warner for a much cheaper price. Any other questions or comments, if you're a member of the channel, hit me up. Other than that, go ahead and talk, some, talk amongst yourselves and uh, keep the conversation going. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.